Hi, I'm Thorsten from TS Systems and in this video I want to show you how you can make other some black and white images with PhotoMate. So I have chosen some raw images for that but you can also use uh, the JPEG images from your phone or tablet to convert them to black and white. Uh, first I select this image here because I think it will look quite good in black and white. So let's check out what we can do. So you can see that the RAW is decoded now and obviously I've got some uh, lost in highlights here. I first used some recovery to bring them back. Okay, so of course we want to make it black and white. So the first thing I will do is turn the saturation completely down. So now you can obviously see it's grayscale. But yeah, I think we can do a lot better than that. So first I prefer to put in some clarity in black and white images because you can see a lot of more structure coming in, in the image. Then let's go to the sharpness and I always use a little bit of sharpness especially when using raw files. Okay so now with Photomate 11.2 you've got the color adjustments below here and Obviously saturation and hue uh, is not uh, useful if you're going to convert it to grayscale, but you can use the luminance to uh, make specific colors in your image darker or brighter in the final black and white image. So for example, uh, most of the parts here are like green or yellow. So I will make them a little bit darker by turning the slider to the left here. This is the yellow and I also want to make the green a little bit darker here. Yeah. Okay, so, oh that's a little bit too much. Okay, so the water is maybe the, the aqua or blue. So I can make the water brighter by turning the sliders up but not that much. Maybe just a little. So now I've got a lot more contrast in my black and white image. Um, I also use the color noise. This sounds a little bit um, strange because we have a black and white image so we don't have color noise anymore. But the color noise is applied before uh, it's converted to black and white and um, the color adjustment relays on the colors here. So if I bring back, uh, if I turn the slider you can see that it's changing a little and I prefer to have a little bit smoother in, in, the, in the corners here, so I like this. Okay, let's see how it looks in, in detail. Yeah, okay, you can see it it's looks very good. Maybe I can make it even a little bit darker, turning the exposure a little bit down here. Okay, let's see how it looks. Okay, so let's check out the final image, yeah. Okay, so that's the first black and white image. Now we look at another image. Let's take this one. Okay, so still decoding the raw. Okay, so there we go. Now at first you can see this image is uh, underexposed. So I will bring back, expo uh, I will turn up the exposure here. Okay, so maybe like that. Okay. I will also crop it a little because um, I don't want to see everything, I'm just interested in this area here. Okay, so now it's obviously still a color image, so as before I will turn the saturation down and I will uh, turn in some clarity here. Let's see, okay. And I will bring some blacks in here. So not that much. But maybe like that. Okay, a little bit of recovery. Okay, so now I've got uh, no overexposed areas anymore. Okay, so sharpness. And now we can also do some color adjustments here. I will just make the preview so okay this area is 
mostly red here in my image so I can maybe make it a little bit darker here and as you can see it's really adjusting just the reds here and yeah maybe this is all the whole background seems to be green so oops let's see how it performs when I make the green darker okay maybe not that much okay maybe like that okay yeah so now I've got some noise in here popping up so first I will always do some color noise to make it a little bit smoother yeah and now I can obviously make some noise reduction for that image and to remove the noise in the background here okay so let's check out how our black and white image looks like and yeah I would say it's quite okay if we compare it to the original which is really dark here uh, you can see that we've got a really nice black and white conversion so yeah that's that for this video we hope you enjoy this new color adjustment features and so you can see how you can use it to convert or create ever some black and white images and yeah I will see you in the next video.